Hey guys, in this video, we are going to take a look at the official Havoc OS 3.0 for a Redmi Note 5 Pro or the Redmi Note 5 AI, which is the global variant. So, without wasting more time, uh, let's start with the review. So, I'm going to get to see Launcher here. As Launcher is still in alpha and pre release states, uh, Havoc OS team has not uh, pre built it with the ROM, and you can see these are the options. And we don't get a lot of Launcher customization settings. So, no, let's go into the main settings into about phone and you can check the android version it's 10 3.0 and it's the official build and this is the latest uh, 17 december build and it has the extended kernel of 4.4.2.6 uh, the tag and yeah that's it uh, and also you can see the accent color and it adapts the accent color to this have a voice logo and the new logo also looks really great so guys, this is not the default wallpaper, this is a user made wallpaper, so I will leave a link in the description. So if you like want it, you can just download it directly and apply it. Now guys, let's move to the configuration center, which is the customization center for Havoc. And you can see a lot of customization tabs are available. So status bar, you can see the custom logo, clock and date, gestures, network traffic, uh, battery icon, uh, and other icons like the status bar, HD icon. Now this is uh, alternative to the VOLT icon. If you want to just like get up some more space on the status bar or like make it look good. And then we have 4G icon in place of LTE. In data disabled, and you will just like just get that cross out. Uh, I hope that worked. Yeah, it may refresh after some time, but yeah, it works finally because I have removed that icon. Then we have the roaming indicator, small mobile type icon, and that will just fit the mobile uh, data icon over the top like the older Android versions. So that's really better. Then we have the Bluetooth battery status. Then going to quick settings, we have all the different stuff, gestures, battery, style, header image, and as you can see, I've set this header image, custom one layout and we have the dragon slider into the screen we have the corners and i have set it to framework values if you want you can customize then we have ambient display options and we have double tap to ambient but it does not work as you can see it just opens up to the lock screen so we need to like reconsider this also it will be fixing the next updated version so please stay tuned for that then we have uh, buttons uh, power menu screen of torch and volume rockers uh, yeah, not that much important. Then gestures and yeah, the normal stuff is present. Navigation bar, just the regular stuff. Lock screen, not a lot of stuff is present, but yeah, this is what you can see on the screen. And then lock screen, oh sorry. Uh, then notifications, you can see we have the edge lighting and it will uh, give you edge like lighting and it works really well on ambient screen. So yeah, whenever you get new notifications, you will get that. And then we have animations and we don't have uh, uh, what you say uh, screen of animation so that's missing then we go into battery saving we have suspend actions and auto enable battery saver uh, battery saving sorry then go into miscellaneous and we have the gaming mode wake up or charge and charging animation and into about here's some information about the maintainers and the havoc team and all of the stuff a lot of framework customization and a lot of customization is present so maybe a little bit on battery here and there maybe there and also the pace is USB so you cannot be like predicted over it. Uh, so dose is there so it like will save a little bit battery. Also uh, deep slip uh, has been resetted but I got 80% deep slip uh, as you can see the up time is also 10 minutes because I just rebooted uh, the uh, phone now. So yeah deep slip is pretty good but you have to uh, get through a good amount of uh, like apps and as you can see if you like are using it for gaming then you can get up to six to seven hours of uh, screen on time for a day and if you're using it for two days then maybe yeah you can get at least seven with a normal user so yeah without gaming and yeah that's actually better and yeah i use the same way two days seven to eight hours of screen on time uh, without gaming and that's how it is so yep uh, Time to wrap up the review that's it now if you are a huge fan of customization you can go for this one but if you want a really awesome battery for your gaming you can just try other roms and compare but this is also great for battery if you are like using for normal usage uh, with gaming it just uh, decreases uh, not by that much the kernel is really well extended if you try to use any other kernels 
there is some battery backup uh, drainage there but yeah the accident kernel works really fine and you can also try the pure cf kernel which also works really great if you want to try it for gaming so yeah if you want to use it for normal uses that's a big go and if you want to go for gaming just try the pure cf kernel you can flash it directly and yep that's it uh, for this uh, review and so this is pretty easy i will leave the steps uh, the guide in the description and it's pretty easy just go to recovery flash the rom like wipe older flash the rom and g apps and boom buddha that's it so bye bye if you guys really like this video press the like button if not press the dislike button subscribe button is here in the red and bye bye uh we'll be seeing you guys in the next videos for the redmi note 5 or other devices bye bye